So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're here today finally with PETFs 2016 in my PlayStation 4. Yeah, so I can actually use my own footage uh, and show you guys the game in all its glory. But before we get into any sort of gameplay, I want to show you guys edit mode, how to import kits, how to import badges, etc. So you guys can really get in there and actually put the proper kits, etc. You can see there on the right hand side, Gerard is in his Liverpool kit. I know he's no longer at Gerard, but we know Konami haven't updated the rosters yet. I really do hope they do. But anyway, this is the menus. You can see they're all nicely done, much better than they have been. Same as last year, but uh, updated graphics, uh, which is always nice. So let's dive straight in to edit mode. And uh, from here, this is what you're going to want to do. So the first thing you need to do before you even get on your PlayStation 4, get some badges, get some kits, and make sure they're the right format. I'll leave the link in the description for the badges that I have used. I'll show you them real quick. These are the ones I have. You can see they've got a nice sort of uh, glow to them. Go straight through the middle. Proper good quality. 500 pixels these are. You don't have to go that high with them. But obviously the higher the resolution, the better uh, they're going to be. I have updated sort of the Man United squad. You can see Schneiderlin, Schweinsteiger, uh, Martial and all them are in there. So if you want these logos, these badges, I'll leave the link in the description. But anyway, put that on a USB in a folder called WEPES. So that's W-E-P-E-S. All your files need to go in that folder. They don't have to be in another folder because... The game won't pick it up like that, which is a bit of a shame because there's no actual sort of uh, order to do it. But it's who cares? We can finally get the badges and the kits in the game. So once you've done that, make sure it's on a FAT32 formatted USB. Otherwise, your PlayStation 4 will not recognize it. I had a problem with that initially. Once you've done that, all the files on your USB, you're going to want to go in here, Data Management. You want to go down to Import Images. And then you can see here, you can import images saved onto a USB flash memory. The number of images is limited. That's a bit of a shame. You know, the power of the PlayStation 4 now, you would expect it to have a maximum amount or an unlimited amount, but you can't. And then once you do that, you can see the resolution 64 by 64 to uh, 2048 by 2048. That's really high res. If you can get them kind of crystal clear images, it's going to look phenomenal in the game. You're going to have four options right here. Uniform, team emblems, competition emblems, manager photo. And what you're going to make sure is whatever one you go into. So if I go in here to competition emblems, click on the USB, that should load up. Uh, I'm going to go into import selected images. I'll pick just one of these real quick. Do not pick any of the other ones um, because that's not going to work properly. You have to pick what you wanted. So I want the Premier League badge. I'll click it. I'll go back. I'll click OK. It's done. Finished importing. And then that Premier League badge will now show up. I will show you guys real quick. When I go into competitions, England, English League, we go into emblem, and then we go to load, and you can see it's loaded it. I've got now two of them. I don't need it. I can delete that. But that is how you do it for competition emblem. So you just click that. It's going to load it, and bang, you've got it there. Lovely. Looks nice and clear. No complaints. So you're going to do the same thing with the logos. Let me do that real quick for you guys so uh, there's no confusion. So we go back to import images. It's real quick, real easy. I mean, I added three or four kits in the space of five minutes. So much easier than last year. No complaints whatsoever. So we go to team emblems. I haven't done any of the championship teams, so I'll do. Um, I'll just do walls for now. We'll go down to the bottom. We'll pick their badge. Click OK. That's going to import. And now we will go back to teams. We will find Wolves. I haven't done any of the naming here, which is it's a bit annoying. You have to rename all these teams, but whatever. I know that's Wolves because they're the bottom of the pile. So we click on them. We're going to go to Emblem. We're going to go to Load. And now it should pop up with all the emblems you've loaded. So however many emblems you've loaded, that's what's going to show up. We're going to find Wolves. Should be down the bottom. There it is. I already have done it, but we click on it. Loads. And then we just simply press back. And there we have it. Wolves is done and dusted. Now, if we want to do a kit, and I will show you guys that as well, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go back to data management. Just so you I know it's a little bit redundant, but I want to make sure you guys are clear on what you have to do. Go on to uniform this time, or it might be kit if you're in a different territory, different country. Click on your USB. We're going to import selected images. So uh, I don't believe I have done... Uh, who haven't we done here? can't remember which team's which now. There are some of them I haven't done. A couple of championship teams as well. I believe, let's do... Um, 
I think this is Swansea. So we'll do Swansea's kit there. We'll pick them two. And then we will press OK. And you can see now we've got 310 spaces left. Some of them are being duplicated, so I do need to delete them. But anyway, we'll go to teams. We'll go to Premier League. We'll go to Swansea City. Now we want to go down to Uniform. And from there, you have the option. You can also add another kit if you want. A third and fourth, which is quite nice. We'll just do the outfield player first to start with. We're going to go down to Paste Image. That's all you need to do. And then you're going to find the kit that you want. Now, it's a little bit annoying that they don't sort of show the file names because it would be so much easier if I if I had a file name of Swansea Home I could see it instead I've got to look through all these and try and figure out what's what I believe this is it right here so we're gonna click X and voila there we had it done two seconds flat we now have the Swansea kit what you will notice though is the color of the number and the name isn't done correctly so you are gonna have to go to markings uniform name and you're gonna have to change that to whatever you wish. A little bit annoying that you've got to do that, but you know, it's a small price to pay for uh, the ability to actually import proper good quality. I mean, I'm, I'm talking real high quality here, kits, as you can see. Uh, and then also, if we want to do the number, same uh, same format, go down here, make them black. I don't know if they are black, I think they are. And that is that. Let's do the, uh, the second kit real quick, same principle. Go down to paste image, there's the before go down to what we want to use this one press ok and uh, there is after how good is that two seconds flat and we have a lovely a lovely kit I do believe their markings are what probably white so uh, let's just change that real quick and the same thing goes for everything else you know emblems for competitions like I said that's what you want to do managers are probably gonna be the same I wouldn't worry too much about managers just purely because you're gonna be wasting your slots this year and you don't want to be doing that we want to try and keep as many of them as possible uh, but there we have it that's the Swansea kit done I mean it literally what you guys saw it a minute to do both kits um, and this is all going to be coming to Pez Universe guys all of these kits are going to be there the site has been sort of given a new fresh revitalized look so uh, be sure to head over there but that's about it I mean uh, you also can obviously change different uh, transfers we know all about that I'll show you some kits real quick so you guys can take a look at them this is the Arsenal one uh, that I have done so we have the home right here nicely done and we have the away kit I mean the away kit a lot of detail and you can see the level of detail in this kit from the socks all the way up to the shoulders I mean the collars are one thing you are gonna have to do so when you do click on your kit you want to go into shirt and then you're going to want to change the collar accordingly. Some of them aren't going to look exactly right. But it's that's all we've got. I've only got four options for collars. So make sure you pick the right ones. Uh, even the captain's armbands, if you do them correctly. Have a look at this. Captain's armband there. Look at that. It's got the captain, the Premier League logo on the captain's armband. Because Roy, the creator over there at Pez Universe, put that in the file. That is how detailed these kits are. Phenomenal right there. And uh, let's also have a look at sort of Man City's because theirs is quite uh, more detailed, I think. Because they have a different kind of collar. So we'll have a look at the uniform the kit, as obviously being in America. But there you can see that is uh, the Manchester City. I still need to fix the, uh, the color of the number and that. But still, the first and the second kit looking phenomenal. Even the, uh, the shoulders of the, the color pattern that they have. And let's have one more look at... Uh, well, I've done Liverpool. Look at their home kit real quick. I haven't done their away kit yet, but as you can see there, so much better than what we had last year, which was a shambles. It's actually quite strange to be playing uh, on PlayStation 4 with all these uh, quality kits and uh, badges and whatnot. And there is a look at Everton. Still need to do the number and that, but uh, home and away done top quality so there we have it that's a quick look at edit mode hope you guys enjoyed it hope it helps if you've got any questions let me know i'll leave the logos in the description for you guys to download if you want these because i think they're quite nicely done for the premier league and the championship but uh, i'll see you guys in the next one hope you guys enjoyed it lots of coverage to come let me know what teams you want to see and i'll try to put them out there but until next time take care